but it's some YouTubes. Power is dead again. I swear this thing does more bad than good. We're gonna have to get a pop start. Let's see if I can gather some people. benefits of having a stick shift car is that you can pop it. You can also do it in first, but you need a lot more momentum. All you need to do is stick it in second, get to pushing, maybe even ask somebody to push with you. You gotta drop the clutch. In second, drop the clutch, and as soon as you do, give it, give it gas. Weird thing was, I wasn't charging anything. Nothing was plugged into it, but it killed my battery anyway. I was just listening to music with my Bluetooth guy. First, some gas. Reach to like 70s, ask miss. Looks like that penguin's all set for this little heat wave. 77 out. I love it. They got another can trailer right here. This one's to end hunger. Well, looking for them, I got quite a collection. I hear a Great Dane trailers. It's a big Great Dane. It's definitely giving Clifford a run for his money over there. Look at this guy. <laughs> God damn. The symbol of our company since 1931. The Great Dane Dog is uh, the most elegant and distinguished of the giant dogs. A true Great Dane breed is spirited and courageous, yet always friendly and dependable. Good side of the bridge over here, too. Reminds me of like 101 Dalmatians, giant edition. They only live six to eight years, and they're gigantic. They grow up to 200 pounds. That's heavier than I am. The smaller the dog, the longer the lifespan. Chihuahuas can live almost 20 years. Actually, the longest Chihuahua is 20 years and 265 days. Expensive, dude. The longest living dog is the Australian Kettle Dog that can live. The longest one lived almost 30 years. Hear that, Great Dane? Size isn't everything. Unless you're a size queen. And size is all you care about. One of them broke down. Should have drank in a Red Bull. Maybe he could fly to the tourist spots then. <laughs> is that a train car on the side of the road? I don't know. But there's a motel up here that looks just like the Alamo. Take a look at it, doesn't it? And across the street is where Stanley does all his laundry. And look at this gigantic earth water tower. <laughs> and it's little mailbox brother. That is so cute. <laughs> wow. We've even got signs how far it is to certain places. Jesus Christ, you can see Australia. It's pretty, uh, pretty intense. And here's a little Easter egg. You can see the United States right up there and a hurricane headed right for us, right there. See South America right there. Doing a bit of research, I actually found out it was in a movie. Forces, the Force of Nature, 1999 with Ben Affleck, and that's how it used to look. It used to look like a globe that you put on your table and you just turn around, you know, your teacher says, hey, point at South Africa. Repainted it because as you can see, it is a bit rusty. Even then, I don't know if you can see, I can barely see it, but you see that little white dot in on the hurricane? I think that's actually Savannah. That's Hurricane Floyd, who hit this area in 1999. And it was a big joke at the time because he had drawn it going clockwise. But hurricanes only go counterclockwise. In the north, in the south, they go clockwise. Learn something new every day. 
now owned by a mortgage lady who kind of defaced it with her branding over there. But besides that, it still looks pretty awesome. I called it a water tank before. It actually held gas in 1954. Here's his little signature. Helen Shomner. You see the original one. The year built 1955. The Horton Sphere. The closest thing you got to food is this crystals right here, which is basically the South's attempt at a White Castle. I might give it a try. Something I just learned the other day that wood chips actually are put down to keep in moisture. Keep the trees nice and hydrated. Got all the good stuff. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. Two types of people in this world those who listen to Billy Crystal. And those who don't. The woman in there tells me that if I bring in my receipt for my next time, I get my same order here half off, which is pretty cool. Kind of makes me want to steal somebody's receipt if somebody bought like $50 worth of stuff. I'm really just feeling uh, out of it. I always wonder who does the counting for these things. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Come here for the ball 6, drop. 5, 4, 3, 2, Happy New Year! Thing <laughs> across the street though. Done out with the best looking neons. Called Green Tea. Pretty cool neons. I don't think I've ever seen drive through Chinese before though. That's a new thing for me. Uh, told you I'm out of it. I forgot to do an intro. I think a workout will fix that all though. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to uh, shine bright like a Billy Crystal and uh, sit for a sit or just howl like a dog at the moon by your palmetto tree. Ooh. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.